92, this is Brent0331, and in this video I wanted to show you guys a new chest rig that I've just acquired. Thanks to uh, John at uwgearinc.com. Um, he also runs a YouTube channel called Alpha Charlie Concepts. And if you've been watching my videos for a while now, you've probably seen some of his comments. Uh, the guy watches my videos all the time. He also has his own YouTube channel that I highly encourage you all to check out because his content that he puts out, it's good stuff, and uh, it mirrors what I put out there. So I know he's got a lot of... Uh, uh, videos on camouflage effectiveness and uh, camouflage reviews. He's also got videos on patrolling considerations and things of that nature. So if you like what I put out, you're probably going to like what he puts out. So again, I encourage you guys to go check out his channel. Um, I will put a link to it down below. Um, long story short, uh, John reached out to me. He offered me a deal I couldn't resist. <laughs> Um, he said that I've got something for you. I, I want you get want you to check it out. I want you to try it out. He's like, I don't expect anything in return. And uh, you know, he didn't ask me to do this video, but I want to do this video because I want to show this stuff to you guys because uh, this is good stuff. And you know, I'm not going to put my rubber name stamp on anything that you know is crap. So, anyways, long story short, this is uh, this is the rig he sent me. He asked me uh, what camouflage pattern I wanted. I sold him ATAX FG and he's like, no problem, I've got some material. So he, he banged it out and he sent it to me. Uh, he also sent a second rig, which I will also show you guys here, uh, for Bruce. Um, you've been watching my videos recently, you've probably seen Bruce. Uh, Bruce is a good friend of mine, he's helped out quite a bit in uh, some of my other camouflage videos. And uh, he sent him another rig because uh, John has actually known Bruce for a while now through some uh, UW gear message board. So anyways, he sent these, uh, these chest rigs for us to uh, take a look at and, and uh, try out. And uh, you know, so far, I like them a lot. They remind me of the AK uh, chest rigs from back in the day that are obviously still used today, um, usually by terrorists. But you know, the design on those is so basic, but so, um, so good and has, has last the test of time. Um, so what this reminds me of is just an updated version of that. Uh, John described this as being, I believe, the Minuteman series line of gear that he's got. He said it was uh, pretty much bare minimum stuff. You know, like, you know, shit hits the fan and you need to you need to roll out quick or you need to grab something that's you know got your magazines you know to get into the fight quickly. This is your this is your rig. Um, the, like I said, there's not much to it. So. I've got the one he sent me, it's got three magazine pouches on the front and these magazine pouches will hold two uh, M16, M4, AR-15 style magazines. Um, I've got USGI mags in here. I have tested the uh, Magpul magazines, they fit just fine. So there's no issue there. Um, he also has, which I will zoom in on here in a little bit, he also has a, uh, a retention system that is somewhat unique. I've never seen it before in any other mag pouches. So. I don't know if he came up with it, if it's his own proprietary, uh, you know, design or whatnot. But uh, I've definitely never seen it before, and I, I think it's pretty, pretty legit. It's a pretty good deal. But essentially, he's got uh, the Velcro, so it, it retains with the Velcro, and then there's a hard tab that slips underneath. Um, so that's pretty, that's pretty neat. I've never seen that in any other magazine pouch um, that I've ever used. Uh, I'm not saying that there's, it's not out there, but I've never personally seen it. So, anyways, long story short, that's. That's that, okay? So six M16, M4, AR-15 magazines in this particular model. I know he does uh, stuff with other weapon systems. So if you need a uh, chest rig that holds AK mags, um, I don't know if he does 308 type stuff or you know like fouls or M1As or G3s or anything like that. But he probably does. Uh, I would send him an email um, and see if he'll he'll bang something like that out for you if he doesn't already offer it. But anyways. I think this is a good freaking little piece of gear. Um, I, I like it. If I was going to sport this, um, I would do do so probably just how you see me right now. Um, there's also enough strappage that if I was to throw a, a plate carrier, a slick plate carrier on, I could throw this on top of that, no problem. So it's got a lot of versatility um, as far as you know being as minimalist as it is. So. Um, let's get a uh, close-up of this piece of gear and like I said uh, this reminds me a lot of an AK chest rig and I'm gonna go ahead and put out an AK chest rig as well as the chest rig that I normally wear um, on a routine basis so that you guys can see the uh, size difference all right so here's the two rigs that John sent the one on the left here is the ATAX FG and the one on the right is the Pencock green zone and this is a little bit different model as you can see 
it's a little bit shorter and smaller than this one. But you still have um, two magazine pouches that can hold two AR-15 magazines each. And then you have the uh, Molly webbing on the side. So if you want, you could plus this up and throw on two more uh, you know, AR-15 mag pouches. Um, with these Molly capability, you also can add stuff like here's a, uh, you know, a Molly style utility pouch that you can attach to you know, the side. Um, these, are, these are great pieces of gear, by the way all kinds of crap you can put in there but anyways long story short you can put magazine pouches um, and any other type of molly pouch that you want to rig on there that has enough spacing for the two two uh, rows of webbing there um, you can also utilize pistol pouches all right pistol magazine pouches uh, you can mount on freaking the shoulder straps if you want to do that or down here whatever you want to do whatever your flavor is so again minimalist but very effective piece of gear i believe and as you can see the the rig style this comes around your the top and you know sits over your shoulders and whatnot and it's almost like a h harness uh type type setup and then it uh, retains in the back with one single strap okay so here's a close-up of the magazine pouch as you can see they're secure right now um, you can just pull this little strap it lifts up it's secured with both velcro and then it also has this little pull tab and this little hardened tab here. So to secure it, you can just close it like that with the uh, the Velcro and it's secured. And, you know, it's not going to come undone. But a, an additional step, if you so choose to have it more secure, you can take this hard uh, little tab here and tuck it underneath and it slides right in there. Um, so, again, I've never seen that on any, on any other gear. I'm not saying it's not out there, but I don't know if that's his own proprietary um, uh, securing system or whatnot or w whatever but anyways I think it's cool it's good to go um, my only gripe about this is I usually run the uh, the uh, mag pool magazine pools on top of my magazines and I found that I can't um, utilize those with these mag pouches there's just not enough uh, there's not enough room here on the the tab but anyways if you're somebody that runs that type of stuff and you know you want that I don't know maybe John can uh, give you one with extra uh, length here on top so that's the only thing I, I could see that you know um, that would need to be adjusted if if you run something like that if you run magazine pulls on top of your magazines um, you could also do the uh, the old school method and just run 550 cord over the top of the magazine and secure it with you know uh, 500 mile an hour tape or whatever um, that's how we used to do it back in the day before Magpul ever came out with those tabs so anyways that's the up close to the uh, magazine section. Here's just a side by side comparison to the uh, the chest rigs that John puts out compared to you know the old Chinese uh, chest AK chest rigs. As you can see, they're they're very similar. You know, they got the three pockets in the in the front, and then you know instead of having attached grenade pouches, um, you've got the Molly adapters here. But other than that, you know, essentially what this thing is is just an updated AK chest rig, which I think is great because this is obviously a proven design. Um, this is the chest rig that I normally run. As you can see, it's a, a lot bigger, a lot bigger than uh, the one that, you know, John sent me. Um, so it really, it really cuts down on a lot of excess material. Um, but at the same time, you know, I do, I do still like this particular setup because it, I like the versatility and, and being able to hold as much as it does. Um, I can throw whatever type of caliber magazines in these pouches, even radios and whatnot. Plus, you know, I got these extra utility pouches for, you know, med kits and stuff like that. Um, in order to do something like that with these rigs, you would have to add, you know, a utility pouch uh, like what I was showing you earlier, which is no problem because, like I said, you've got the molly webbing to do it. So, all in all, great piece of gear. I highly recommend it. Um, make sure you check out his stuff. Uh, check out his YouTube channel. Check out his website. I will post all that information in the link below. I appreciate you guys watching and for your interest in this, uh, this gear. Um, definitely uh, let John know that I sent you his way, okay? So, I appreciate you guys uh, uh, taking the time to watch this video. Thanks for watching, guys.